Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get free grass cuttings. Best giveaway ever. What's going on, YouTube? It's Noxo, and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, man. It is Monday, aka our day to travel international waters. Get the passports out, people, because we are back with none other than Blackpink. Now you guys know I read the comments and everything that you recommend, and this is definitely the next highest requested one. It is none other than hard to love. But before we get any further, I want to give a quick shout out to the Patreon guys. Listen, exclusive reactions and content on there. A lot of K-pop related content. If you want to support me, you want to support the channel directly, I'll put the links to that below. But anyways, anyways, you know what we're here for. Blackpink, step up to the plate. Let's see what you got. One. Ain't no magic to the fix it You should keep your distance I'm only telling you because I care Wow Cause I'm hard to love Find it hard to try Okay Feels too good I just fuck it up You want all of me I can't give that much So don't fall too hard Cause I'm hard to love Ooh. I'll tell you what, first and foremost, I just love the tone of Rose's voice. I've, I've said this before, like, I don't think you'll find a more pure tone and just spirited, soulful, vulnerable type of sound than, than her tone when, when she gets on the microphone and she sings. Like, I just feel like it's like a window into the soul and, and she just kind of bears it all whenever she has her opportunity to shine on a black pink track. And I love how we open up and she takes a breath at first. And you just hear that first breath before the beat kicks in, before anything happens. And it's almost like you're like right there in the recording session with her. <sighs> that breath before we dive in. And then you start, and I think it's gonna be like the last breakdown that we did when everything was kind of scaled back. It was just guided by a simple piano and then the power of the girl's voice is shown through. And it started off that way. It started off very simple, very scaled back. But then all of a sudden, it turned more into a ballad track. And then you have just this awesome guitar kick in more of the percussion kick in it gets bigger it gets heavier with it but you know she's got a powerful voice where she can guide us on some of those more soulful notes on some of those more scaled back emotional deliveries or she can really push her voice and hit some of those power chords and that's kind of what you get here you get like the best of both worlds like the way that this builds and guides like right here it's about to kick in and she'll start to push as well Nice. When it feels so good, I just fuck it up. You want all of me. I love the syllable writing to this, right? You go one, two, and then she holds out the next three notes. Then she goes one, two, holds out the next three syllables. One, two, holds out the next three. Very cool, just little syllabants and sort of thinking about that and the poetry behind the lyricism and how you lay stuff out to sing it out. Wow. A bit of like pop sort of disco rock going into this it's all over the place man i love some of the synthier pacing to it as well Wow, is this just Rosé the whole time? She just got in all this because even like on the harmony sometimes, we'll take some of the other girls and they'll have them like hit some of those higher or lower notes behind it as backing tracks. But on these harmonies and on these backing tracks, it's all Rosé too. Very sort of self-awareness type of lyrics, you know, talking about a relationship, but it's taking sort of a different tone this time. Instead of like being the one who's been hurt by a relationship, 
you're kind of the one doing the hurting, but you can't really control it. You know, it's just a different sort of perspective and a different dynamic introduced to the relationship when, you know, you're aware like, hey, when things get too good, I, I just have like the self-destruct button. And that's something that's so relatable too, because I feel like a lot of us are like that. Like we feel like when things are too good, we're just waiting for it to go wrong. We're waiting for that, you know, one bad moment to send us spiraling back down. And you just feel like you you don't deserve it to be so good. You don't deserve it to always be, you know, climatic and rising and and just feeling that way. Like you're like, there, there's got to be something that's going to go wrong at some point in time. And obviously that's not a healthy way to handle relationships. It's not a healthy way to approach life, but you know, it is human nature. <laughs> I think the ironic thing about a song like this and about just like the way the lyricism is and, and the nature of this, you know, like don't fall too hard because I'm hard to love. And it's almost like it, it's like that raw honesty and vulnerability just like makes you want Rosé more, makes you like want the relationship more. Like it, it almost kind of backfires in a sense because it's like, well, the more that you're kind of pushing me away, the more that I am intrigued, the more that I want to pursue. <laughs> Show how, like, even there when she gets like just softer with the tone, and then she pushes back out more into some of her, you know, more powerful notes. It, it's the vocal constraint and control that she has that I, I just love about her ability. I'm trying to be nice. Casey. And yeah, that was all Rosé. What an interesting choice on the album because I know that we've had different singles for the girls and Rosé's had her own singles. And I love those singles. And like I talked about on those singles, I love the emotion and the vulnerability behind that. And I feel like this is just kind of a continuation of that, you know, more of revealing who she is as an artist and, and what she does. But what I love is that they chose to do this on a group album and give her that chance and that opportunity. And it's one of those songs like we talked about where it, it can be so relatable and it can apply to so many different circumstances and, and situations. Like it's it's playful, it's light, but at the same time, there's there's a little bit of something deeper going on underneath of it. Yeah, Rosé, you were not so certified. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, do me a huge favor, guys. It really does go a long way. Subscribe, notifications on, support the channel directly. Also, comment down below what's next, any other reactions you want to see me do. I try to read all of your comments, guys. I respond as much as I can, so please keep commenting and keep posting. Stay safe, stay positive. I love you. I'll catch you again.